This is episode two in my gel press series. And today what I'd like to experiment with is finger painting on my gel press. I think it's a great way to create a background that's interesting to utilize in my junk journals, my art journaling pages, or to pull off of watercolor paper and use it as a background for ATC cards and coins. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two O Pros Mixed Media. A little bit of gratitude for those that are, have already subscribed. If you hadn't, please do. And of course, the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So to get started, we're going to utilize the 5x7 gel press, a little palette to mix some paint, the brayer, and always have some white and black on the side if I want to create some different shades. So the first thing with this pull, I'm going to try to lighten up this yellow and I am thinking I want to go light to dark and I'm smearing <laughs> a technical term there I'm smearing the paint with my finger on the gel press so I've put the light yellow down going to come back with a little darker yellow and hit some darker tones around the light and I'm thinking I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit more so I'm going to add some white around the outside edges and this is my first attempt at this so I'm not exactly sure how to how to proceed here but I'm thinking light to dark I should have started with a white we'll add some deeper tones with the violet and I'm just utilizing my fingers to place it and rub it around on that press to get it at about the level that I want it to be to pull it. So when you're pulling your gel press pins, we always try to have that thin layer of paint. So I'm trying to thin it down with my fingers here or make the coat thinner. And I think I have too much paint on this one, so I'm just gonna take a quick pull to pull off some of those peaks and valleys. That, that little pull's not bad. And now I will let it just kind of dry so I can hit it with a light touch and not pull paint up off of it. Laying down some iridescent white now that it's at that temperature. And let's see what kind of print we get off of this. So there you go. That's the first, first attempt. First attempt at a, at a finger painting gel press. So Let's slow this down just a little bit and, and come back in with some blues. I'm going to start with a light blue. Lighten it up just a little bit more. And this is just finger painting. I've had a couple of weeks with my grandkids. We've finger painted a lot and I thought, hmm, why not try that on the gel press and see what kind of backgrounds we can pull utilizing the acrylic paints on the gel press. So I'm just getting a good coverage with the blues. And I'm using that second little small gel plate kind of as my palette, if you will. Now I'm going to cover that up with a white. This is just a titanium white. And I want to get a good thin coverage here. Oh, I've gone through my sheets of paper so let me just tear one and I'm just using regular copy paper I'm experimenting here so I don't want to waste any watercolor paper or expensive paper and there that that didn't get a great pull off of this but I'm going to try it once again on what's left on the sheet and hit it with that brayer just to give it a little more contact. There we go. 
So there, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? There really isn't a whole lot more to say with this technique. It's simply playing on your gel press with your fingers, moving the paint around, getting it into a position that it pleases your eye, allowing it to dry to the touch, and then adding a thin coat of a light background or dark background, whatever you choose to pull it with, and pulling up your print. So it's a very simple, simplistic process, but I do think it creates some very interesting backgrounds for us. And in this one, I'm using the blues and a little bit of the metallic copper, and I've switched to a thinner paint, the craft paints. So let's just see what kind of pull we get off of this one. And once again, I'm just gonna allow it to dry a bit to the touch add down a, this is iridescent white. So I've chosen three whites, an iridescent white and a buff type of white and a titanium white to experiment with. And I like the way that that pulled. I like that little metallic in that. And I'll just try to get the second pull too and see, see what that produces. So I hope you will try this, have fun and uh, post, your, post your results so I can see them. Um, hop on over to my Facebook page and, and let me know if you tried it and if it worked for you. I appreciate that. So I'm gonna start some music and let you get through a couple of other colors and see what we come up with as the end result.
I'm liking the colors in this one, so I'm going to see if I can get a second pull off of that by laying down a little bit of iridescent white. Let's see what happens. I may have let it get too dry, so let me put some blue down and pull with that. And I may have put down too much color, so let's just try one more sheet on here. And of course I've run out of paper, so let me tear one in, tear one in half here. And we'll add just a tiny bit more paint, and I'm utilizing the white. And let's see what happens there. Now that I'm happy with. So this is a fun process. I hope you have enjoyed it. It's certainly simple, certainly easy. Finger paint right there on your gel press and produce yourself some nice little backgrounds to use. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is pull all these backgrounds out and maybe try some mark making off of the gel press on top of them. So come back for episode three and see what we come up with. Once again, my name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I'll link the gel press playlist here. We're two episodes in, so look for more coming soon to you. Thanks for being here. Appreciate your comments and I'll say bye for now.